So, hi, my name is Scott, and I just paint my strap, my Joy-Con strap, and to paint it before I open it, and this is just a video showing what is inside the Joy-Con strap. So it's three bolts. That's the lock and the lock mechanism. These three parts. There's a little spring. There's the lighting thing, a little rubber, and it's just open. It's just the insides. Sorry, because English is not my native language, and I search and I see a lot of videos of people opening the Joy-Con itself, but I didn't see any videos of people opening the strap, and I decided to make this one. And by the way, I paint both of mine, and... I decided to, when I put it back together, to not put the lock back, the the lock thing back, because first, because when I was playing Metal Slug 3, it was really a pain. It's really uncomfortable to hold the Joy-Con that way. Second because I have the one to switch and it's really hard to put to put the strap on and the strap off and the strap on and strap off and always be checking the lock if it's locked or not and so I decided to not put it back and for my surprise I didn't find any reason to the lock being there because there's no lock at this thing there's no lock in here and removing the lock it just become like this one I just push the button back and it's it's really easy to take it off now and it's not so secure I mean I can put I can put some strength and it will hold but I don't know if it can break something that wasn't supposed to break because of the lock or not but I decided in my strap I didn't want the lock and I didn't put it and by the way uh, if I accidentally put the lock backwards, the, the strap backwards, it's extremely easy, easy to, to get it off without the lock. And you're still getting the cool sound when it just is in the right position. Click. So that's the video. Sorry, sorry because I think it's a little long and that's what inside this tribe